First, let's look at the correct body position. During the ride, place your weight on your heels and raise your toes a bit. The easiest way to do it is to act like you want to sit down in a chair. Move your bottom backwards and feel your shins come back so your leg is pushed to the back part of the liner inside the boot. This movement should automatically raise your toes. To balance this leaning back, tilt your upper body at your hip slightly and hold your arms in front of you. Try to arch your back upwards. This will give you more balance control. With this position you can change your weight quickly by moving your hip back and forth while you're always in balance. If your shins point forward from your ankle like in skiing, the muscles on your front of your shin bones will burn quickly, because you will try to raise your toes with these shin muscles. With snow skating you need to lean back and use your weight and the flexibility of the boots to adopt this crouching position, with the weight in the heels and your toes light. Have some space between your feet. One foot should be a bit further forward. This will give you more stability. Try this instead of standing wide and having your feet at the same line. For your first time on snow, choose an easy, quiet, gentle slope. Your first exercise will be a single wide turn, coming to a gentle stop. Try to relax your body because you will be able to adjust your balance more efficiently if you are flexible rather than stiff. When you're parallel to the slope, bring your weight down and lean a bit more forward. Between the turns when you're perpendicular towards the slope, raise your weight up and straighten your body just a bit, because you will gain a bit more speed while turning and you will have to compensate for this. If you feel you will fall back while turning, you have to focus on this sweet spot. As your turn takes you away from the slope, you will slow down. As you slow down to stop, you can lift your weight again. Repeat this a couple of times when you're getting more confident. Do two to three turns in a row and stop. If you feel confident and in control, try making the turns tighter. This will give you more speed, but your control needs to be sharper. Relax and give yourself enough time. As mentioned before, some space between your feet with one foot a bit more forward will give you more stability. When snow skating, you always have to adjust your weight depending on the slope conditions in front of you. A good practice is to start going straight down on an easy track while going. Try to bring your bottom more backwards while tilting your upper body more and raising your hands a bit more forward to compensate for this. Do this a couple of times and you will get the feeling for how to balance correctly. Never straighten up your upper body completely because your weight will be too high and you won't be able to balance in time. As you experience the slope you will realize that the snow conditions can vary and you will have to adjust your balance accordingly. If the snow gets deeper, softer or there is a bump, you have to bring your weight back like you practiced and you should go through it easily. You can also practice for this directly. Head towards a small bump and prepare yourself to move your bottom back just when you get to the bump. Practice this and you will be ready for faster runs quickly. Do the same movement slowly when the slope gets more flat after a steep section. Part of the learning process is developing a familiarity with the typical snow conditions on the slope. For example, where the skiers go to the snow, it's more hard packed. But the extreme edges of the pist can be softer. First ride on a new slope on a new day should always be a safety ride. Because the conditions can change from your previous day and can cause surprises. For a safety ride, you should bring your weight a bit further back than usual, exactly like you are expecting a small bump. This is to have some safety stability. Do the same if the light conditions are poor or if it's foggy or cloudy, because the bumps won't be so visible and you won't be able to recognize them in time. Doing a safety run will alert you from any difficult bumps, powder or ice, so you know where these will be on your next run. If you want to skate, you can do it on flat surfaces or during your ride also. It's important that you push your legs only sideways, not diagonally backwards. So push only your heels and after you raise your leg. End your step on your heel also and start pushing it. Never put any weight on your toes while snow skating forward. 